Hello and welcome back to the channel folks. Today, the Bulldogs travel to take on the 3 and one LSU Tigers. Let's get right into it folks. It's a huge SEC matchup. Tigers coming out firing already. Down to the 40 yard line is Pollard, big wide receiver. Second and nine, Horton looking to take another shot. Over the middle to Pollard for another first down here. Oh, uh, it's third and one, it was close. And Frank Stanton deflects the ball away. And the Bulldogs take over. Jeff Terry sacked immediately on the first play. That'll make it second and 15. Robbie Ballard can't get anything going. Look at the swarming Tiger defense. Unreal. Terry almost sacked again. He's got Jamar Dalton wide open at the 35-yard line for a huge first down pickup. Third down here. Terry. Left side. Hawkins. That is deflected away at the last second. This Tiger defense is nasty, folks. Horton, quarterback, keeper right up the middle. He'll pick up six or seven. That'll make a second down. Gilbert to the outside, picks up the first. Couple nice runs there for the Tigers. And they'll have another one here from the fullback who stiff arms Garcia and picks up the first down. Third and two, Horton on the option. And he's gonna pitch it out and that actually counts as an incomplete pass. So the Tigers punt the ball away yet again. Jeff Terry crushed and he fumbles the football and the Tigers would recover here at the nine yard line. Take a look at the defensive stats for the Bulldogs. 429 yards per game allowed by this defense and that is not good. Horton looking to take a shot. Right side wide open is Reed but he is well short of the end zone. So the Bulldogs hold strong. Tigers on for the field goal attempt. Kick is up and it is good. And they have the 3-0 lead. Jeff Terry, nice pump fake there. Got the defense attack with a jump up. Terry hits Orlando Webb at the 30-yard line for the first down. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. Tigers on top, 3-0 over the Mississippi State Bulldogs here in Death Valley. Jeff Terry rolling out right side. Got Ron Hawkins wide open. Nice one-handed snag by the freshman. And he'll get it up to the 46-yard line. A good quarterback battle so far today. Both quarterbacks, 4 of 6. Terry with 52 yards, of course. And Terry's going to take a deep shot right side. And Roy can't come up with it. That's picked off by McLean at the 12-yard line. His first pick of the day. Tigers sacked. Way back at the 14. That was Neal, a freshman defensive tackle. Horton over the middle. Deflected away. Of course, I have dropped frames yet again. Still trying to figure that one out, guys. I apologize for that. Here's Jeremy Tate on the punt return. He'll get it past midfield. A nice return, but he fumbles the football. Recovered by Kirby. Luckily, that was not scooped up because he would have been gone. That is a third turnover for MSU here in the first half. Toss play to Gilbert. Great blocking by the receivers. Great block downfield. And Gilbert will get the first down. Horton to the air again. Left side, Pollard. He's been the go-to target in the wideout spot today. And he's been at the big fullback. He gets stuffed. A yard shy, great stop by the Bulldogs defense, but the Tigers go for it and they'll pick it up. Three yard carry up the gut for Gilbert. Horton right side strong and makes a strong move. Gets past the safety and into the end zone for the touchdown. Tigers on top, 10-0 here over the Mississippi State Bulldogs who are ranked sixth in the nation. Jeff Terry up the gut, slides forward to midfield for the first down. One minute to go here in the half. There's Brooks, the freshman tight end with his first career reception, but he puts it on the turf. And Johnson will break a tackle and return it up to the 40-yard line. Four turnovers already in this ball game in the first half. And you saw on the bottom, Army beats ninth rank Southern Miss. Horton breaks the sack attempt, throws it out deep, and overthrows his intended target. That'll make it third and eight. Horton left side tried the screen pass, deflected away. And the Bulldogs get a shot here with 20 seconds to go. Jeff Terry taking a shot deep. Ron Hawkins comes down with it again. Every jump pass to him is a big play. That sets up Randall for the field goal attempt. The kick is up and it is good. Bulldogs on the board down 10 to three as we go into the half. 134 yards of offense for MSU, 130 for LSU. And the Bulldogs will get the ball here as you can hear the thunder in the sky right now. And Jeremy Tate breaks the tackle. He'll get a nice return up to the 24-yard line. And Jeff Terry's going to lead his offense back on the field here. 
Roy wide open. Pass to 35 and out of bounds at the 40-yard line. His first catch of the day. That was a 13-yard pickup. Bobby Ballard up the gut. His best run of the game. The best run so far for the Bulldogs. But another third and long here. Terry pressured. And he is chased down from behind at the 47-yard line and sacked. So the Bulldogs give the ball right to the Tigers. And wide open is strong. And gets past Donnie Kramer. And down to the 38-yard line. Tigers moving the ball with ease right now. And Gilbert's in the open field. He is loose inside the 20. Makes a man miss. Stiff arms the defender. Out of bounds at the five-yard line. And Norton, or Horton, excuse me, takes the ball in for the touchdown on QB keeper. 17-3 is the score here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. As Jeff Terry slides for the first down marker. 3.15 to go. Terry is sacked again back at the 25-yard line. The second sack of the day for Sears. He also has five tackles. Terry taking another deep shot to Hawkins. And he comes down with it. You didn't see the catch. Drop frames. I know. Kenny Harding with a nice seven-yard carry up the gut. His best run of the day. And Ballard fighting for every inch. Just look at all the Tigers. My goodness. It was so hard to run against these guys. It was really hard to do anything against this defense. There's a nice catch for Thomas Roy and a first down. Third and nine. Over the middle, Orlando Webb comes away with it between four defenders. And what a perfectly placed pass from Jeff Terry. 17 to 10, folks. Gilbert on the carry. He'll pick up eight or nine yards. He has 99 yards on the ground today. And they'll give it off to Bennett, the fullback. Yet again, breaking a tackle. Stanton can't get him down. My goodness gracious, Michael Galar with the tackle today. I believe he has eight. Not a whole lot of highlights today for us so far. As Gilbert gets another first down on the ground. He's up to a buck 15. And LSU has the lead going into the fourth quarter, 17 to 10. You can hear the crowd chanting, LSU, LSU. Horton going to take a shot deep. George Tyler with a deflection. And the Bulldogs get the stop. It's less than six minutes to go. Dalton fumbles the football, and Jeff Terry has a Cam Newton moment and decides not to dive on the football. And LSU is going to score one play later to strong the tight end. Wide open. Unreal. Terry over the middle, deflected away. Fourth and 11. The Bulldogs go for it. They're down two touchdowns in Death Valley. Jeff Terry diving for the first down, and they don't give it to him. This was very close. Had to get to just the other side of the 35, and you can see right there needed maybe two more inches. And Gilbert's going to get this inside the 10-yard line. LSU is up 24-10 to 10 right now, four minutes to go. Or in left side, Pollard in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. And they're just pouring it on now, 31-10. to 10. Jeremy Tate back to return from the one-yard line. And he's going to go up the left sideline. Gets a couple nice blocks. He's got a lot of space in front of him. Dives at the 50-yard line. Great field position for Jeff Terry in this offense. Terry to Pena. Wide open. He'll get the first down and get taken out of bounds. 3.41 to go. Terry over the middle. Kevin Davis with a nice diving reception. And another first down for MSU. Terry right side. Caught by Roy for another first down at the 15. Terry, all day, going to take off, and he's going to walk into the end zone for an easy touchdown. That gets him within 14. It is 31-17 to 17 here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Mike Randall on for the kickoff, and that is about five yards deep in the end zone, and the halfback Gilbert is going to return this one up the middle, spins, breaks the tackle from Michael Gillard. Dennis Garcia can't get him. Singleton, the only one with a shot. He's not going to get him, and I can't remember the last time we saw the computer get a kick return for a touchdown against our Bulldogs in this series. But that was a huge one. LSU is now on top 38 to well, 10, I think. I lost track. Scored so many points. 38-17, excuse me. Terry looking to take a shot deep again. Hawkins can't come away with this one. He's picked off by Owen. And he's going to return it up to the 44-yard line. And that's going to do it, folks. The Tigers do kick a field goal with less than 10 seconds left in the ballgame. We lose this one 41-17. This is a head-scratcher.
just a lot of turnovers and I really think that the rain was a huge factor today Terry couldn't get a lot of um, power on his throws wasn't very accurate the running backs were fumbling the football Jeremy Tate fumbled the football on a punt return just a very sloppy game we had 300 yards of offense only 75 on the ground we just couldn't get it going this Tigers defense was just downright nasty Terry was sacked four times there you go six turnovers four lost fumbles every fumble that we had was lost two interceptions LSU puts up 24 points in the fourth quarter to pull away for the win it was just ugly today folks it is the Death Valley beatdown that we just received as you can see the running game just nothing going today Dalton 9 carries 13 yards Ballard 5 for 18 2 fumbles by the running backs well, 1 by the quarterback Orlando Webb with a touchdown reception Roy and Hawkins of course balling out look at all these drops too 3 sacks allowed by the O-line well 2 by the O-line 1 by Kenny Harding you don't see that every day Michael Galar, 11 tackles, 2 for a loss. We had one sack today. That was Dan Neal, the freshman defensive tackle. Michael Stevenson, redshirt freshman, had a deflection. Mike Randall, 1 of 1. John White, doing really great punting the football for us this season. And our next game, I hope, is a beatdown for us as we travel to Nashville, Tennessee to take on the 1 and 4 Vanderbilt Commodores who have been awful in this dynasty. We drop from 6th to 15th in the nation and I don't think we'll be in the national championship discussion this season anymore folks I do apologize for that but we can still win the SEC so let's get it I'll see you guys next Tuesday take it easy